hi guys so um this is a new little background so i am back in new york my roommate and i are here to pack up our apartment and put our stuff in storage and kind of go back home so due to covid we all lost our jobs so we are no longer able to keep the apartment and we are gonna move to in-school housing once it does open back up but I thought it was a perfect opportunity to give a house tour and kind of have it in my memories and show you guys what the apartment looks like. So then 10 years from now, I can look back at it. And this is an apartment that I've loved. It's been amazing to come back. I'm super sad to let it go, but onto bigger and better things. So let's get right onto it. So this is the main door and the coat closet, you know, pretty standard doors. I have a little, key hook ring thing we keep our laundry card there our mailbox there our mail our mailbox key and then my regular car keys and then this is just a regular closet i mean there's not much to it but we have our coats our cleaning equipment our laundry for stage stuff like that um and just like some shoes for outside and you know some utilities that we keep up on there when we come in we go straight into the living room i have all my lights on right now from a different perspective so obviously I didn't get to completely finish decorating it I obviously wanted to put something up on that wall but this is what we had so far which it was really lovely I'm super excited and super in love with how it all came out we did want to put the TV up and mount it and that would make that area a little bit more full but you know this is what we have and then right outside here we have kind of like a balcony slash porch area it is screened in so it's quite and nice i have like this makeshift plant diy thing that i did i have my desk my old mattress thing from the dorm which i'm gonna have to throw away um we have this bin here that we just we have lots of recycled and stuff like that we don't really go out here very much it's always been super cold so but it is a really nice area to have. And especially now when the weather is getting better, it would have been super awesome to sit out there. So then we go into the kitchen slash dining room. This is pretty great area. I'm in a beautiful window. We have the birds right outside chirping every morning. Um, this little thing here, it's like one of my favorite things in the house. I think it came together so well. And then over here, we just have a tablecloth and then a plastic tablecloth on top because that's just so much easier for cleaning. We usually have fruits in there, but we just got back. And then there's usually napkins in there, but again, we just got back. Um, and then there's the kitchen. The kitchen is actually super spacious. Like there's so much room to do everything. There's so much cupboard space. I mean, it's freaking great. So we try to keep all the counters clean and stuff. Um, our famous little Keurig. And then I actually have a chicken, an entire chicken hen thing um, defrosting right now so we can make roasted chicken. Our fridge is super bare. And then this is one of my favorite things that we do. We always have like little, I don't know, phrases to make us feel better and optimism and stuff like that um last time we left our other roommate was here and i had left this um and then we just got back yesterday and this is what he left so thank you adam i love you best little brother ever just kidding i have a better little brother but like you're great too <laughs> and then in this hallway we have our pantry here it's kind of little like bare in how we usually have it because we just came back. I mean, it doesn't look bare actually, but we usually had it stocked up, but this is a pretty great pantry. And right across from the pantry is the bathroom. It's a pretty standard bathroom. Hello, everybody. You know, this is what decorated, love my flowers everywhere. So yeah, just a regular bathroom over here. This hallway, my roommate's room is right here and then this is my room. I 
I'm super proud of how it all came out. Like I, I, I love my room. It's super simple, but it's like really me. I love my plants everywhere. I need greenery. So, and then over here we have my calendar, which I try to be super positive about. I actually just did this this morning, but there's a lot of stuff I wanted to write on, especially with everything going on. A little hanger that was a gift to me when I graduated college last year. And then I have this amazing mirror here that goes on the door. And then I have some notes that some friends have left me. And then this like Spanish Sunday, like tag that I got at the ice cream museum. And then this is actually really cool. So when you, so when you open it, it's like, um, the jewelry can go on this side, which is really great. And then headpieces can go in here and then there's like drawers and stuff like that. I took a lot of it back home. Um, this was like stocked up full, but I love my headpieces. So yeah, this thing is amazing. I got it on Amazon and then just like a regular closet. So half my clothes is there, half not. Going over here, this is like regular. I love this thing. I got it at like, where was it? It's like a home store, some type of home store over here. Um, so this is actually a little like cheese slash like cutting board that I got, but I put it there as like a middle piece because I thought it was awesome. These are actually fresh lavender flowers that have been there forever. And they made my room smell so good when I came back in. And then this is the outside. As you can see, my curtains are DIY. When we went to shop for curtains, they were so expensive and we didn't think it was worth it. So I just made a makeshift like thing with my sheets. And if I, all I wanna do, if I, I wanna put them down is like unclip them. So it worked out really well. That used to be a whole lot better, but the little command clips that go on the top fell. So, I mean, it is what it is. So yeah, that's my room. Oh, and now we got in New York City as well. I love the people and the paint and the artists on the streets and I love to support them. So super in love with that. So yeah, guys, that was a short, quick little house tour. So um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this. This is kind of for memory's sake. I'm really, really sad to let this apartment go, but I'm super excited about the future and everything that's gonna happen in the next few months. So thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe and let me know what you wanna see next.